Ever wondered what happens when a country measures its success and happiness? Well, get ready to embark on a journey to the enchanting land of Bhutan, where happiness isn't just a pursuit, it's a national treasure. In this video, we're about to uncover the hidden gems and fascinating facts that make Bhutan a true Himalayan jewel. 1. Bhutan is known for measuring its success by gross national happiness, not just gross domestic product. This holistic approach considers factors like spiritual, physical, and environmental well-being. It's no wonder Bhutan is often called the happiest country in the world. 2. Believe it or not, Bhutan is one of the very few countries with no traffic lights. Instead, they have traffic police in major intersections directing traffic with hand signals. It's a fascinating sight and a testament to Bhutan's unique way of life. 3. Bhutan has a national dress code requiring all Bhutanese citizens to wear traditional attire in government offices, schools, and on formal occasions. Men wear go and women wear kira. It's a colorful and beautiful expression of their culture. 4. Perched on the edge of a cliff, the Tiger's Nest Monastery is one of Bhutan's most iconic landmarks. Legend has it that Guru Rinpoche flew here on the back of a tigress, which gives this place its name. The monastery is as awe-inspiring as its legend. 5. Bhutan is the world's first and only country to have completely banned the sale and production of tobacco products. It's a bold move to promote a healthier lifestyle among its citizens. 6. Bhutan is also serious about environmental conservation. Plastic bags have been banned in the country since 1999. 7. Archery is not just a sport in Bhutan, it's a national obsession. You'll often find archery competitions happening in fields across the country, with participants displaying incredible accuracy from incredible distances. 8. Bhutan is home to over 2,000 monasteries and temples, each with its unique history and significance. Many of these are nestled in breathtaking locations, offering a spiritual and serene experience. 9. Bhutanese culture includes the use of phallic symbols, especially wooden carvings, on houses. It's believed to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck. 10. Bhutan restricts the number of tourists allowed each year to preserve its culture and environment. This means you'll experience a more authentic, unspoiled version of this beautiful country when you visit. 11. Bhutan is often referred to as the land of the thunder dragon due to the fierce storms that roar through its valleys. These thunderstorms are believed to be the voices of dragons. 12. The Bhutanese script, known as Choki, is one of the most unique alphabets in the world. It has 30 basic characters and is known for its elegant, flowing script. 13. Gangkar Pointsum, standing at 24,836 feet, 7,570 meters, is the world's highest unclimbed mountain peak. Bhutan's government has banned mountaineering above 19,685 feet, 6,000 meters, to respect the beliefs of the local people who consider the peak sacred. 14. Bhutan has a strict flag protocol that requires citizens to hoist the national flag on specific days. It's a symbol of unity and patriotism and is taken very seriously. 15. Bhutan is the only country in the world that is carbon negative. It absorbs more carbon dioxide through its forests than the country emits, making it a model for global environmental conservation. 16. Bhutan's education system places a strong emphasis on teaching happiness and well-being alongside traditional subjects. Students have classes on meditation, mindfulness, and holistic well-being. 17. Bhutanese people love their hot stone baths. They heat stones in a fire and then place them in a wooden tub filled with water, creating a relaxing and therapeutic experience. 18. The Fabjika Valley is a crucial winter habitat for the endangered black-necked crane. Each year, these majestic birds migrate here, and their arrival is celebrated with a festival. 19. Bhutanese doctors often combine traditional medicine and astrology in diagnosing and treating patients. This holistic approach reflects the country's spiritual values. 20. Bhutan hosts numerous festivals, or tsekis, throughout the year. These vibrant events showcase traditional dances, music, and masks, often performed at ancient monasteries. The most famous is the Paro Tse Chu. 21. Bhutan boasts some of the world's most unique bridges known as living bridges. 
These bridges are made by training tree roots over several generations to grow into bridge structures, a stunning testament to nature's engineering. 22. Chimi Lakang, also known as the Fertility Temple, is a sacred place where couples seeking fertility blessings visit. It's famous for its phallic symbols and is considered a must-visit for couples looking to start a family. 23. Despite its small size, Bhutan is home to a remarkable range of wildlife, including Bengal tigers, snow leopards, and red pandas. 24. Bhutan takes great pride in preserving its ancient texts and scripts. The National Library in Timpu holds a vast collection of manuscripts, many of which are centuries old. 25. The yak is not just a source of livelihood in Bhutan, but also a symbol of sacredness. They are essential for transportation, milk, and their fur is used for clothing. 26. Bhutan has a rich tradition of herbal medicine, and the Institute of Traditional Medicine in Timpu is dedicated to preserving and promoting this ancient healing system. 27. Bhutan is often referred to as the land of fortresses due to its numerous zongs, which are impressive fortress monastery complexes that serve as both religious and administrative centers. 28. Bhutanese folklore includes the legend of the Yeti, or Migoy. Locals believe this elusive creature roams the Himalayan mountains. It adds a touch of mystery to the region. 29. Bhutanese people are renowned for their warm hospitality and friendliness. Visitors often feel welcomed and at ease in the country. 30. Bhutan has strict regulations that require all buildings, including modern structures, to adhere to traditional Bhutanese architectural styles. This ensures the preservation of the country's unique aesthetics. 31. Bhutan is committed to preserving its natural beauty and wildlife. Hunting and fishing are prohibited, ensuring the protection of its diverse ecosystems. 32. Due to its varying elevations, Bhutan can experience all four seasons in a single day. It's not unusual to start with a chilly morning, have a warm afternoon, and end with a cold night. 33. Bhutan's national flag features a white dragon known as Druk, which holds a jewel, symbolizing the protection of Bhutan's wealth and the country's spiritual traditions. 34. The Takin, a peculiar-looking mammal, is Bhutan's national animal. It's sometimes called the gnarled cow due to its unusual appearance, with the head of a goat and the body of a cow. 35. Bhutan is known for its traditional woodblock printing. The art form is used for creating religious texts, prayer flags, and intricate artwork on fabric. 36. The Dakula Pass, nestled in the heart of Bhutan, boasts a challenging ascent, rising to an impressive altitude of approximately 3,100 meters, 10,200 feet, from the capital city of Timpu. 37. Bhutan boasts a unique variety of cherry blossom tree known as Prunus lanisiana, which produces double-flowered blossoms. It's a rare and stunning sight during the spring bloom. 38. Bhutan is deeply rooted in Buddhism. The majority of the population practices Buddhism, and prayer flags flutter across the landscape, symbolizing blessings for all beings. 39. Traditional Bhutanese cuisine includes unique dishes like emadachir, a spicy chili and cheese dish, and suja, a salty, buttery tea. They might be an acquired taste, but they're an essential part of Bhutanese culture. 40. Even the cafeteria at the Tiger's Nest Monastery is a marvel. It's perched on a ledge and offers stunning views of the monastery and the valley below, making it one of the most scenic dining spots in the world. 41. Bhutan's national tree is the cypress, specifically the Himalayan cypress. These majestic trees add to the country's scenic beauty and are often associated with religious significance. 42. Paro Airport in Bhutan has one of the world's most challenging runways. Surrounded by towering peaks, pilots need special training to navigate this high altitude and steep approach. 43. Bhutan is famous for its exquisite handwoven textiles. Each region has its unique patterns and colors, and traditional weaving is an integral part of Bhutanese culture. 44. The Yak Festival, held in the Ha Valley, celebrates these hardy animals' role in Bhutan's rural life. It's a colorful event showcasing yak races, traditional sports, and cultural performances. 45. The Chorten Kora Stupa, located in eastern Bhutan, is a remarkable structure resembling Nepal's famous Budhanath Stupa. 
It's a place of pilgrimage for Buddhists and a sight to behold. 46. Lama Drukpa Kemli, known as the Divine Madman, was a legendary figure in Bhutanese history. He was famous for his unconventional teachings and unique approach to Buddhism. 47. Bhutan is rich in medicinal plants, and the trade of these plants contributes significantly to the country's economy. These plants are used not only for traditional medicine, but also for export. 48. Bhutan is deeply committed to the happiness and well-being of its citizens. It even has a national holiday called Gross National Happiness Day dedicated to celebrating this commitment. 49. Bhutan's diverse regions have their own unique variations of the national script. These regional scripts add depth to Bhutan's cultural diversity. 50. Punaka Dzong houses the coronation throne of Bhutan's kings. It's a place of great historical significance and a splendid example of Bhutanese architecture. 51. Bhutan has its unique form of astrology known as Chi Thrim Do or Five Sciences of Buddhist Metaphysics. It plays a significant role in everyday life, from selecting auspicious days for important events to determining personal compatibility. 52. Television was introduced in Bhutan only in 1999. Before that, the country had no access to television broadcasts, helping to preserve its distinct culture. 53. Bhutan is committed to preserving its natural beauty with several national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. These protected areas are home to diverse flora and fauna, including the elusive snow leopard. 54. Bhutan maintains a dress code for tourists visiting certain areas, particularly religious sites and government buildings. Visitors are expected to dress modestly to respect Bhutanese culture. 55. Bhutan has an ancient suspension bridge called Tamchog Lakhang, known for its unique construction with iron chains. It's a thrilling yet beautiful walk over the Paro Chu River. 56. Timpu, the capital of Bhutan, is one of the world's smallest capital cities. It has retained a charming, small-town atmosphere despite being the political and economic center of the nation. 57. The Punaka Suspension Bridge is one of the longest suspension bridges in Bhutan. Crossing it provides breathtaking views of the confluence of the Fo Chu and Mo Chu rivers. 58. The Lunar Tibetan Calendar in Bhutan is a traditional lunar calendar system used for various religious and cultural purposes. It follows the cycles of the moon and is deeply intertwined with Bhutanese Buddhism, governing important events like religious festivals and auspicious days for ceremonies. 59. The Jomalhari Mountain Festival celebrates the rich cultural heritage of the communities living around the Jomalhari Mountain. It's a vibrant showcase of traditional music, dance, and food. 60. Bhutan has a distinctive and charming postal system. The country's mail is delivered by postmen on foot, covering long distances across challenging terrain, and each stamp is a small work of art. 61. The Bhutan International Marathon takes participants on a challenging course through the Paro Valley's stunning landscapes, offering a unique running experience in the Himalayas. 62. The Institute of Zorak Chusam, also known as the Institute of 13 Traditional Arts, is dedicated to preserving Bhutan's traditional arts and crafts, including painting, wood carving, and sculpture. 63. In Bhutan, people typically do not use surnames. Instead, they often include their place of origin or other identifiers when introducing themselves. 64. Bhutanese New Year, called Lozer, is celebrated with great enthusiasm. Festivities include elaborate mass dances, traditional foods, and the exchanging of gifts. 65. The Ha Summer Festival is a unique event that showcases the rich culture and traditions of the Ha Valley. It includes horse riding, traditional sports, and a glimpse into nomadic life. 66. Dzongka, Bhutan's official language, is taught in schools, and Bhutanese take pride in preserving and promoting their unique language. 67. Bhutan has committed to maintaining at least 60% of its total land area under forest cover. This dedication to environmental preservation contributes to its pristine landscapes. 68. The Great Buddha Dordenma statue in Timpu stands at a towering height of 169 feet, 51 meters. It's one of the largest sitting Buddha statues in the world, offering panoramic views of the valley. 69. 
Thagzo is the art of weaving intricate patterns onto Bhutanese textiles. It's a painstaking process that produces stunning, colorful fabrics used for clothing and ceremonial purposes. 70. The Merak and Saktang Trek is an off-the-beaten-path adventure that takes you through the remote villages of Merak and Saktang. It offers a unique insight into the culture of the Brakpas, an indigenous community. 71. Traditional Bhutanese houses are architectural marvels. They are built without the use of a single nail, relying on intricate woodwork and joinery. This craftsmanship is a testament to Bhutanese engineering skills. 72. Ama Jetsun Pema, Bhutan's mother of the nation, is known for her philanthropic work, including education and healthcare initiatives. She's highly revered in the country. 73. Palden Lamo is a revered deity in Bhutan, often depicted riding a mule across a sea of blood and holding a human head. She is seen as the protector of Bhutan and its people. 74. The Chang Lemethang Archery Ground in Timpu is one of the largest archery fields in Bhutan. It's a vibrant place where archery competitions often draw enthusiastic crowds. 75. Suntokut Zong, located just outside Timpu, is the oldest Zong in Bhutan. It houses a language institute where scholars study and preserve the Bhutanese language. 76. The Punaka Damche, a unique festival held in the Punaka Zong, features a dramatic reenactment of an ancient battle. It's a colorful and lively event that draws crowds. 77. Mabarcho, or the Burning Lake, is a sacred site where legend has it that Pemalingpa, a famous Bhutanese saint, discovered hidden treasures. Pilgrims visit to witness the mystical beauty of the place. 78. The blue poppy, a rare and stunning flower, is Bhutan's national flower. It's a symbol of the country's unique and delicate natural beauty. 79. The Wandu Tsechu Festival in central Bhutan is a vibrant celebration of dance, music, and colorful costumes. It attracts locals and tourists alike with its lively atmosphere. 80. The Komalhari Trek is one of Bhutan's most popular trekking routes, offering breathtaking views of the sacred Mount Komalhari and the pristine wilderness of Bhutan. 81. Timpu, Bhutan's capital, is one of the few world capitals without direct road access from other countries. The nearest international airport is in Paro, a scenic journey away. 82. Bhutan is home to a unique wildlife preserve known as the Royal Takin Preserve, where you can see the national animal, the Takin, up close in its natural habitat. 83. Speaking of animals, did you know Bhutan has no zoo? This reflects Bhutan's commitment to wildlife conservation, as they prefer to preserve animals in their natural habitats rather than in captivity. 84. Bhutan boasts approximately 72% forest cover, making it one of the most forested countries globally. These lush forests play a vital role in the country's ecosystem and carbon sequestration. 85. Bhutan has numerous natural hot springs known as chachas. These thermal baths are believed to have healing properties and are popular among both locals and tourists. 86. Luwens Zong is known for its intricate woodwork and traditional Bhutanese architecture. It's an architectural gem set in a tranquil location. 87. The Wangdu Fadrang Zong, perched atop a ridge, provides panoramic views of the valley below. It's a picturesque spot and a testament to Bhutan's architectural splendor. 88. Bhutan's Royal Academy of Performing Arts is dedicated to preserving and promoting traditional Bhutanese music, dance, and performing arts. 89. Bhutan's rugged terrain is a significant obstacle for building roads and infrastructure. Engineers have constructed some of the world's most challenging and dangerous roads in the Himalayas. 90. Yathra is a traditional handwoven fabric in Bhutan, known for its vibrant colors and unique patterns. It's used for clothing, blankets, and other textiles, showcasing Bhutan's textile heritage. 91. Bhutan is adorned with colorful prayer flags fluttering in the wind. These flags, inscribed with Buddhist prayers and mantras, are believed to spread blessings to all beings. 92. Bhutan's monarchy holds a special place in the hearts of its citizens. The Bhutanese royal family is highly revered, and their photos adorn homes and businesses throughout the country. 93. 
Bhutan's fertile valleys are dotted with lush orchards producing apples, pears, and other fruits. It's a delight for both locals and visitors who savor fresh, organic produce. 94. The Tronsa Zong, perched on a ridge overlooking a gorge, is one of Bhutan's most strategically located fortresses and an architectural marvel. 95. Bhutanese culture places a strong emphasis on respect. It's customary to walk around religious structures and stupas clockwise, and visitors are encouraged to ask for permission before taking photos of people, especially monks. 96. Butter lamps are an integral part of Bhutanese culture and religious rituals. They are lit in temples and homes to symbolize the dispelling of darkness and ignorance. 97. The Jigme Dorji National Park, the largest in Bhutan, is a haven for wildlife enthusiasts. It's home to various endangered species, including the snow leopard. 98. Bhutanese weddings are elaborate affairs that involve several days of rituals and celebrations. One distinctive feature is the changeip, a ceremonial scarf that is exchanged between the bride and groom as a symbol of their union. 99. The Dance of the Black Hats is a powerful and visually stunning mass dance performed during Bhutanese festivals. It often tells stories from Buddhist mythology. 100. Bhutan's Rhododendron Festival celebrates the vibrant bloom of these stunning flowers. It's a time when the hillsides burst into color and locals come together to enjoy nature's beauty. That was all for today's video and thank you for watching it. See you next time.